Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a leiomyosarcoma. This is a malignant tumor that shows smooth muscle differentiation. The benign counterpart is very commonly seen in the uterus and it is known as leiomyoma. This leiomyosarcoma is arising from the soft tissue. In this slide, we can see that there is the skin here. This is the epidermis and then the dermis and the subcutaneous fat. Quite deep down, we can see that there is a relatively well demarcated tumor mass and leiomyosarcomas are frequently quite well demarcated even though they are malignant. This tumor is composed of fascicles. Fascicles are parallel arrangements or bundles of spindle cells. We recognize cells as being spindle because the nuclei are very elongated rather than rounded. And we can see that most of these nuclei are quite elongated. We can see the fascicular arrangement more clearly here, where there are these parallel bundles of spindle cells, some of them going in different directions. Here there is a very nice fascicular arrangement. These spindle cells show nuclei which are fairly large. Some of them have prominent nucleoli and quite coarse chromatin and there is a moderate degree of nuclear pleomorphism with a moderate difference in nuclear size and shape as we look around. We also see very frequent mitotic figures. For example, there is one here, there is another one here, another one here. We really don't have to search very much to see mitosis, another one here and here. So the presence of this degree of nuclear pleomorphism or atypia, as well as the frequent mitotic figures, tell us that this is a malignant tumor rather than a benign leiomyoma. Another feature of malignancy in this tumor is the presence of tumor necrosis. And let's look for it. And as we look around, we can appreciate this very fascicular arrangement of malignant cells. We see some areas that look quite pink, and these are the areas of necrosis. And there is another area here. So let us look at higher magnification. We can see that there are these pink shadowy outlines of cells. These are dead malignant cells, and this is an area of tumor necrosis which is essentially coagulative necrosis. Within this area of necrosis, more at the periphery, we can see some little blackish dots. These are the remnant dead nuclei that have fragmented, and this is known as karyorectic debris. So we have areas of coagulative necrosis, and here is another area. And as we move around, we can appreciate more and more of this. This page in our virtual online pathology museum, PathWeb, shows a gross example of leiomyosarcoma where we can see this very fleshy but relatively well demarcated tumor mass located in the soft tissue. And this particular tumor is arising in the thigh. If you scroll down this page, you will also be able to expand clinical vignettes, gross description, and also view other annotated images, as well as see a brief video on the gross appearance. To access this virtual pathology museum, you simply need to click on the link in the video description. So in summary, this is a leiomyosarcoma this is a soft tissue malignancy that shows smooth muscle differentiation. The tumor cells are arranged in long bundles or fascicles. The cells have a spindled appearance with elongated nuclei. In this tumor, there is a moderate degree of pleomorphism. Of course, in other tumors, there can be more marked nuclear pleomorphism, and that is part of the grading system. The more marked or severe the pleomorphism, the higher the grade and the worse the prognosis. 
The other features that tell us this is a malignant tumour are the presence of frequent mitotic figures as well as the presence of necrosis, which is recognised at low magnification as these pink areas of coagulative necrosis. Some of the prognostic factors, in addition to grading, would also include the tumour size, the depth, the location, usually retroperitoneal tumours or tumours that arise from large blood vessels have a worse prognosis, but in general, these tumours do not have a very good prognosis and tend to have a high recurrence rate as well as a high mortality rate. Thank you.